hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so today i am going to add another improvement to my spline based procedural road system so yeah this is what i'm going to do uh, actually uh, when in this system when i have disabled the simulate option uh, even if I change the spline nothing is changed on these meshes that's because I have disabled this option but uh, the reason to disable it is this I uh, when I simulate this like this it becomes like this so I have manually change the locations of these meshes around here using this start editing option that I have developed with utility widgets like this this is the way I have developed that scene you saw earlier like this so I do some manual editings here after placing these meshes procedurally so yeah the problem is when I do this and finish editing I have made this simulate option uh, false so that in the next time when I load the map it will keep these changes as it is as I can see here I will reload this level without making any changes because I need that level without saving it I will reload it okay so the problem is when I have disabled this option oh not this one yeah When I have disabled this option, what if I need to add another element? Let's say we need to add something like uh, some plants around here or some flowers or anything. Maybe some light bulbs in the sides of the road. So if I add, need to add something like that, well, I can't do it with this simulation disabled I have to enable it so if I enable that then all the changes that I have done here will be gone they will be reset so what I am going to do is instead of keeping a simulate option for all these uh, elements I'm gonna add a simulate element so that I can change that option independently for each element in this array so using that way i can enable simulate maybe only for this tree or and can add a new element and enable simulate only for that so yeah i hope that makes sense to you i know the explanation is not very clear and it is a little bit complicated but hang on with me you will understand okay so let's open the procedural object blueprint and also in this procedural element structure I'll add a new variable boolean called simulate and I'll keep the initial value as false for now oh what happened shall we reload the lever No. 
let's compile this all right so i had to compile that okay all right now we have this simulate option in the procedural element structure all right so i'll Uh, let's do a branch here with this uh, simulate option if it is true it should go this way otherwise mm, it should go this way right um, I think I need to change this a little bit yeah I'll add not play and execution I'll connect this one like this and then I'll oh, yeah I have this current element here add it as an option adds an input option here at this so I'll name this one just element would be better was it will be too long okay and I'll override this part because I don't think I would need it anymore right now I will break this and instead of this for each loop I am going to use these elements here so I'll connect this one here and input object is this HISM that means this one replace this element mesh with this one now that we don't have to get the current element from this array because I already have that element separately here Okay, and the uh, instance transforms from this one. Right, I think that's all. Yeah. Okay, now let's compile. and everything is working and uh, yeah when I do this nothing happens for the existing parts all right now let's go ahead and add a new element to this procedural element so let's duplicate this tree and instead of a tree let's add uh, another type of yeah how about this flower 
okay and still you don't see that that's because the simulate is false so I'll enable it is it there all right it's here now okay now yeah you can see that plant is all over the this spline so if I change this spline only that element should be placed yeah like this see that element is updating independently let's add this uh, torch stand instead of that flower so the torch stand is here I will place them let me add some offset to that no it's not a good idea to place the torches near the trees I don't think I need a uh, scale randomization for the right plus 50 no. right now they are placed in the middle of this wall short wall let's add some height okay now it looks like they are placed on this short walls and we have to modify them by hand in these places but that's less work other than placing them manually everywhere okay and what else they should be in the other side as well let me duplicate that and I should make this one zero okay now I can see those torch stands in both sides cool yeah we have some issues in bins and other places that's because yeah that's because they uh, I have placed them automatically now I can again go here and start editing right and I can individually select each of these instances and place them accordingly or if I want I can just delete them like this okay so you get the idea and after the modifications done I can just finish editing okay that's all and thank you for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below 
and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me and see you in the next episode goodbye